What's up everyone? Michael Taylor from 64 Motorsport and in this episode I'm going to be reinstalling the Super Sprint exhaust system back onto my BMW E46. Now as you might remember a couple of weeks ago I actually pulled this out of the box and installed it. After a couple of weeks of looking at it I just wasn't happy with the final fitment on it. I wasn't able to get the individual components to fit together tight enough. So by the time it got to the back, it just wasn't sitting right with the amount of uh, that the tailpipes were protruding past the rear bumper. I wanted it to sit in a lot more and probably realistically, maybe a couple inches more. I was having to think about it and I thought, you know what, I'm going to pull it out and get this fixed up because I knew I could gain that couple inches by getting each section to sit about an inch tighter together. When I pulled it out, I also decided that it was a good opportunity to polish it. So I've done a whole video on polishing the stainless steel exhaust system. I posted a link below and up above if you'd like to watch that. Then once you've finished this, go back and have a look at that because you'll be staggered by the results and how easy it is to do. So I'm just over at the workbench. I'll just run through some of the bits and pieces that I'm going to use for this install. I've got two of these brackets which secure the tailpipe section to the hangers at the back. The two centre rubber mounts and they secure to this center bracket anti-seize lubricant I took the opportunity while I was polishing to sand and deburr all the ends of the pipe so that they should slot together fairly easily because it's a dual system I don't have the luxury to be able to move it side to side it's more just up and down and, and push you don't have the ability to be able to really sort of get some leverage on it I'll also put some of this on the nuts and bolts when I assemble everything and tighten it up. I also got some muffler and tailpipe sealer and I got this idea, I was watching another YouTube video where they were assembling a, a similar system and after they'd assembled it they just put a bit of that exhaust sealer into these slots. On, on the Super Sprint system they use this really cool tightening mechanism. So basically they've welded on these lug nuts and you've got like a little allen key bolt in there to sort of tighten it up. but just as a precaution, I'm just going to lightly fit up some uh, two and a quarter inch or exhaust clamps as well. I must admit, I do like the Super Sprint system because it gives you a nice clean line. I'm not really 100% sure how effective it is in terms of sealing up the joints. Uh, as a secondary measure, I'm going to throw, throw these on as well. What my plan is, different from the last time where I assembled everything and then tried to lift the whole thing up into place, is I'm going to install each individual component separately. So I'll start with the front section, get that front section hooked up to the exhaust manifold flanges and then secure it to the center bracket. And then I'll put the mid section in and then the tailpipe section. The tailpipe section is the heaviest of the lot and is probably the one that I'm thinking is going to give me the most grief, but I've got my trolley jack to help support it. And I've also got a couple of spare jack stands as well. Basically they can act as my third and fourth pair of hands hopefully and make this job a lot easier. I'm really excited to get this back on because I love the way it's come up after I've polished it. I'm really confident that this way is gonna work. So let's get started. Sorry about the light before guys, but already that's been heaps more successful. Um, I've managed to get that front section pretty much in. I'll just get these last couple of uh, bolts in, just hand tight. The front ones are just hand tight. The only ones I've really tightened are the uh, rubber hangers, which will be fine for now but I still just will probably need a little bit of play in it. I might even have these too tight. I'll just back them off with a couple of threads. Just to... Yeah, so I've still got a little bit of play there. Where's the other one?
Yeah, so I've got those, those in. I've got the four bolts securing it to the exhaust manifold therein, with gaskets of course. Now one of the problems I do have, which I've just realised, is the uh, clamp that secures the exhaust pipe to the support bracket that comes off the gearbox. I chucked it out with the old exhaust system, not realising that it's a separate part. I'm going to have to jump online and get a new one ordered from ECS Tuning. So that's probably going to be a couple of weeks away, but it's not really an issue because I've got no plans of firing this thing up within the next couple of weeks anyway, so we should be sweet. Anyway, I'll get the camera moved and we'll get on to putting the next section on. As you can see, I don't have a lot of space, but I've got my anti-seize lube. And the secret with this stuff is Less is really more. You don't need a shitload of it. Just about that much. And it's a real pain in the ass to get off your fingers, so wear gloves. So I'll just slide this over a bit. Now, as I say, I've sanded down everything inside and on the other pipes, plus got my file onto it and deburred the ends just in case they haven't filed it properly when it came out of the factory because they, I guess, get it in and out as quick as possible. Oh, there's an old bit of sandpaper, get rid of that. So, wish me luck, guys. I'm not looking forward to this bit. Plus, I've got to make sure. It goes the right way. I think it goes this way. I think. Yeah, I think that looks right anyway. I'll just move you guys back a bit. That's what I'm going up to, so. Fingers crossed. Just go grab my torch, see if it's cleared those notches. That was the chair. I think that's a success. I think it's certainly a centimetre at least more than it was the last time. And I probably should have marked it. I might mark the other piece so I've got a better, clearer idea. But that is definitely not going on any more than what it is. So, I'll get the uh, next section and we'll see how it looks by the time it gets to the uh, exhaust hangers. So this is the section that I'm least looking forward to because it's the heaviest of the lot. I've only got a couple of cracks at this. I've got my brackets there. I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, put a bit of assembly lube on it. Actually, I'm going to grab my ruler and uh, mark up these pipes. Won't be a sec. So it should go in about 80 mil, which is roughly about three inches. So this will give me a bit of a guide as to how close to the end I am. If I can get really close to that, I'm gonna be super stoked, but crikey, I'm really worried about this one. really overkill this time with it. I'm not taking any chances because as I say it's super heavy this last one. Fingers crossed. The 
gloves are coming off. So wish me luck, guys. I'm not really sure how to do this. Yay. Yay. Fuck. Good job, team. Whoa. Can't believe I fucking got that in. Sorry. I was so worried about that last piece and at one stage I thought it just wasn't going to go in because um, what had happened is on that midsection one of the pipes was actually bending in so when I've gone to line up the uh, two ends from the uh, rear section it was about one of the pipes was sort of bending in a bit so it wasn't aligning directly with the pipe on the tailpipe section it was about or oh, half a centimeter out so that's why I had to get my screwdriver under there and try and bend that pipe but at the same time with my other arm push it on so I could at least get it on just a little bit and that tailpipe section is so friggin heavy I've got to tell you so fortunately I was able to get it on a bit it's it's dropped down and it's whacked me in the mouth a couple of times which isn't much fun but then once I got it started, I was able to lie down the other way, get my legs up onto uh, my storage rack, and then just pull it, and I've got it all the way in, and that alignment looks so much better. I am super stoked about that. Oh, I thought that was going to give me some grief, and it did. It fought me for a little while, but awesome. So now I'm going to put some, some bolts in, uh, get things tidied up and uh, we're off to the races awesome so i'll be back to you i'm not going to show you this boring bit i'll just turn the camera off get those things tidied up and then i'll come back to you set things up on the table and we'll do a conclusion to this yes so what i'm going to do now is i've got the rear brackets pretty much where i want them so i've just got my trolley jack down here and uh, i've just got it supporting the muffler so that it stays roughly in the position that I want and I'm just going to tighten up these last brackets and then I'll get underneath the car and put in all the tighten up all the nuts and bolts under there as well so everything's well supported so this has been a little bit of an effort just to get it all aligned uh, I've had to move it back a bit and forward a bit and, and what have you to sort of get it all aligned but I'll just move the camera around Sorry, I'll bring the light around and I'll get better photos of the full install underneath the car and these tailpipe section as well. But basically what I'm trying to say is that the alignment of the tailpipe is much better than what it was before. Before, it was sticking out probably an extra 50 mil or two inches more than that and it just didn't look right. So I'll tighten these up and then I'll get the camera underneath the car and get some more footage underneath there as well for you. <laughs>
So I'm really happy with the way that that system has come together and I'm so pleased that I took it back off to get everything realigned and then also took the opportunity to polish it because that absolutely looks killer underneath the car. I don't know if the footage is going to do it justice but the way it just works with particularly the back of the car where I've painted the diff and polished the diff cover and the diff carrier and all those other nice shiny freshly painted components that system, I am just so thrilled about it. So it's just a bit of a shame we don't get to fire it up and hear what it sounds like, but that's not too far away. So if you'd like to see more of my E46 BMW project and the bits and pieces that I've got going on with it, then hey, please subscribe and uh, ring that bell so you get notified each time new content comes out. Now, if you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Don't be scared, it's not gonna bite. It really helps me out if you do. Allows me to keep making better and better content. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it gave you some closure. It's a little bit better than the last couple. Um, I really appreciate it. And look after yourselves, stay safe, and TTFN.